Materia Reservoir. Materia Reservoir. Nobody can make it because it's during the week. Everybody has, um, you know, weekends off, next up me. So I just want to take a little view of the area. This is Camping and Wheeling in Colorado. Brought to you by WOAMeet.com and WOAList.com. And I got to thank those two companies for just sponsoring this camping trip. Yep, this is where I'm going to camp for a while. A little forward drive road right here. Nothing special though. There's some um, off-roading stuff here. Nothing much. I might take my Jeep up here. Show like a little video. So what do you say guys? I bring my Jeep up here by myself. It's not too bad. Just kind of rocky, rough coming up. I don't know. I'm going to walk up the uh, trail and see um, if it gets worse. So I'm on top of the mountain. It's not a bad forward drive road. I think it's very short. I mean, it goes down there. I don't know, I might bring in my Jeep up here. <coughs> See what I can do. You know, but I know where this road goes. It goes back down the other um, road. But I can't drive down here and then go down because it gets very narrow, very small. But as you can see right here, nice little campsite. I guess you can drive up here. Just check it out, man. It's so nice up here. I don't know. I'm kind of bored. I might bring my Jeep up here. Make a video. Show you guys. Oh, look at that. More camping, man. Those people over there. Let me zoom in. Yeah. A lot of camping up here, man. There's more camping sites. Terrier Reservoir. Damn. Very nice. You can park a tent right here. I do a little camp fire. Damn, I wish some more people came with me. I don't know what happened. Everybody works during the week. You're up high. Checking it out, man. Where does this road go? Damn, I don't know. And it's very narrow right here. Then you got a road right here. I don't know where this goes. I think I'd be able to bring my Jeep. Shouldn't be too bad. But it, it stops, see? All that trouble, all that work. Nice homemade brownies. Some butter in here. Gonna kick, cook my ribeye steak. Get that nice and warm. Make sure I still got a fire. 
Okay, by the fire people. If you can just take a good look at that, both sides, look at that fat. Damn. Some butter around the on the steak. Yeah, I know I spiced it. I don't care. I like it nice and juicy. There we go, baby. There we go. Yeah. That's what I'm using the pot for. Bam. Hello, so I asked you to join Camping and Wheeling in Colorado. I have a YouTube channel and we go out and we camp. And we like wheel. I mean, I found some nice areas to go, but it's only me. And I'm not going on this, you know, four-wheel drive because I don't have people with me, and I need to to look. I'll carry down the entire. Uh, so it is kind of a steep grade, and it is like a bunch of turns and very rocky. So I'm just being smart and not going to actually go. I'm going to Boulder next week, so try to sign up. And yeah, you know, we just cook, we camp, drink some beer, and we have a good time. So I hope you know you can make it and you join our Facebook group, Camping and Wheeling in Colorado. I don't care what kind of vehicle that you have, a Jeep, a Toyota, just come in. And if you just have a Honda Civic, join too. You know, maybe you can ride with me or you can ride with somebody. Maybe we can meet you somewhere. I don't mind accommodations, but my stick is looking damn good. Camping and wheeling in Colorado. And I want to also thank WOAMeat.com and WOAList.com for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys. That is looking like a good piece of meat right there. And I like my medium rare.
So they're almost done. The asparagus are about done. I need my steak cooked a little more. But it's looking good. I say like two more minutes on the steak. Maybe five minutes on the asparagus. And I'm gonna have a pretty good damn meal. I do want to add that like, so there's a bunch of bears around this area. So I really need to be careful on you know washing my stuff and packing up. I might take the trash and I might take it pretty far away from my um you know tent, you know, put it up in a tree. That's what I'm gonna do. So yeah, man, I gotta wash all my stuff, but damn, it's looking pretty good. And I do have some nice brownies I'm gonna put on the um burner too so they're already made I'm just gonna put them on the burner and I'm gonna just get them you know nice and warmed up I got powder sugar and all that camping and wheeling in Colorado you're missing it you're missing it don't miss next weekend after I post this video everybody's gonna be signing up I'm going to leave you know like a Friday come back Sunday night I don't know there might be two people coming maybe three maybe more after this you know video but this is what we do. We just hang out and we talk and we make a bunch of friends. And we do some off-roading. I'm in Terrell Reservoir. This is a bomb place. Awesome. Super freaking awesome. I found so many campsites. And I'm going to make a recording tomorrow showing you the other camping spots. It's so beautiful out here. Just watch out the damn bears and pack your shit in. Alright. I'm going to try an asparagus. I hope they're done. Maybe... Well, what do you say? Well, it's not medium rare. I was talking and I was trying to take care of the asparagus. It's not bad. Good morning everybody. It's up great. It was a great night and a great day. I found some really nice camping spots man. And I gotta make a video of that and I might do it today. First I'm gonna make some coffee and then we'll make some bacon and eggs and hash browns. That ain't no good. <laughs> Yeah, so guys, I recommend Terriol Reservoir. I'm going to post it. You got to come down here, man. A lot of great camping, lots of new spots, man. A lot of new spots. Send me a message, you know, if you want to know where this campsite is. So nice. These bugs are on my freaking ass all morning. I was up at like 5 a.m. hiking and scouting. It's awesome. Ugh. Yeah, so I had a, had a nice time. Whew. It's like 10 a.m. Yeah, like 11 a.m. I sit back and drink my coffee after a nice morning hike about in 5 a.m. It's beautiful. It's a sunny day. Um, yeah, man, I gotta show you these areas. You know, like maybe you can take notes on them about, you know, what, you know, road, you know, 
to actually go on. Mm. This coffee is so good, man. Very good. So, I didn't bring my uh, fishing license. So I don't even have it. I'm going to buy one this weekend. And I'm going to Boulder Reservoir, which is a gross reservoir, next you know, weekend. Join our channel, join our group. Camping and Wheeling in Colorado. And we just camp and we try to find a four wheel drive trail and we try to drive it. Then we go back to camp and we make food and we talk to each other and we, you know, meet other people in the state of Colorado. And we just have a good time. I just started this channel so not many people know about it. I have a Facebook page. I have like, you know, um, 300 people. So I have a couple of people that actually want to go and I might actually go with some members next weekend but you know just kind of you know look around at what we do we have some good food next weekend i want to try to buy a um a rack of ribs yes a rack of ribs at the store put it on this this um this like a, a metal fire pit you know and cook some ribs up there so if i have like three to five people that's perfect maybe two each you know but yeah, you know, we just have a good time up here. I'm trying to buy a buy a kayak pretty soon because you know I don't just like to camp and wheel, man. I like to camp and wheel and try to kayak and you know try to fish too. So, anyways, guys, join our group, join our channel, and subscribe. Camping and wheeling in Colorado on YouTube.com, and I'll post a Facebook page which is Camping and Wheeling in Colorado on. Facebook and we have some sponsors WOAMeet.com they get people outdoors you can join their groups you know and you can make a group you, you can go anywhere and do any kind of sport and get people to go and be in those groups on those trips and it's free they don't even charge so thank you WOAMeet.com and um, there's a new website coming up which is WOAList.com. So they advertise outdoor businesses that make backpacks and outdoor gears, boats, ATVs, vehicles, Jeeps, you know, Toyotas, any type of vehicle that's made for the outdoors. You know, um, online products too, man. So I will post both of them. WOA List, I, uh, I was told... Won't be out till like next next week, maybe maybe like in two weeks. But I'm still gonna post it anyways, cause you know this like you know um, the video's just gonna travel for the next 20, 50 years. So I'm gonna post it anyways. But yeah, I'm having a good time, and I hope to see some more people on the trip next weekend. And I'm gonna do some uh, snow wheeling, so you know, be sure. I don't know exactly where, maybe Argentine Pass, maybe Mosquito Pass, do some, um, you know, snow um, wheeling, you know, so just check us out, you know. I'm going to try to fix up my um, Jeep this, you know, year, you know, winter, get some bigger tires, 35 inch, 2.5 inch lift, maybe get a Rhino bumper with a nice winch on it, maybe like a Warren winch, you know, so yeah. Join our crew, man, you know, it, it, it um, it just started, you know, but, you know, I mean, everything has to start somewhere. I don't have any people right now. I have people wanting to go, but I'm, I'm camping during the uh, the week, and I don't have the weekends off, but I might start getting some weekends off. So, yeah, check us out, man. I don't care where you are, you know, from the state and what kind of vehicle that you have. Just join us, man. If you have, like, a four-wheel drive and off-road vehicle, you're fine, you know. It's not like a jeeping club. It's a Jeep, Ford, Chevy, Toyota, Kia, you know, you know, Subaru, you know, SUV, you know, so just join, man. And I want to sit back, drink some coffee after my long ass hike. And no, I didn't see any bears. I don't know where the bears are, but they are going into town and they're, you know, taking people's, you know, bunch of food, you know. But I haven't seen any bears. I've seen poop around here. You know, like a bunch of bear poop. 
you know, but I'm not, I'm not catching any bears. I have a hunter guy here that, that is trying to catch a bear. And he told me that he's seen a lot of tracks and a lot of scat. You know, I just hope that they stay over there or up that ridge, you know. Just don't come in my camping site and take my, my damn beef jerky. You know, I don't care. You can have the eggs, you can have the meat. Don't take my damn beef jerky. A fine piece of bacon, baby. Hell yeah! Gonna have me some din din. Well, not din din, but breakfast. <laughs> mm mm. Cook me some good fresh bacon. Camping. I don't eat packaged, packaged a bunch of foods. Man, I eat like real. I eat real food, man. I eat like I might. I'm at home. All right, everybody. So some more bacon on the Barbie. And now I'm not going to eat all this bacon. I probably just eat what I um the first five. Then I'll start, um, I'll probably make the half. Yeah, it's cooking me so, so much, cooking some eating bacon right now. It's time to eat, I no food all morning. I took my long hike. I'm gonna make some hash browns and some eggs. I'm gonna sit back and enjoy it. And then I'm gonna take you to the area that I discovered at Terrio Reservoir and we're going to just you know I'm going to show you these areas I was kind of disappointed yesterday excuse me I got crap flying around everywhere so what happened was I was so when I was kind of driving to these areas checking it out and I came across a campsite and there was still it was still like uh, I've camped for fire. No, no, uh, no, uh, flames, you know. But, but, like, you know, it was, there was a bunch of smoke. And I drove up to it, and I was going to try to douse it out. But I didn't have any water on me. So I just want to tell you, man, next time you come to the mountains, you know, you make a camp, a camping fire, put it out, man. Don't leave the campsite un, un, until it's, it's gone. It's, that's what causes these, you know, 100, 200 acreage forest fires. That screws it up for the animals. It kills all the animals, kills all the vegetation in the trees. It, it, it screws up people's camping trips. So just don't do it, man. I made a camping fire, but I had a metal camp, you know, and, and, um, metal fire pit and I'm going to show you this how it kind of works I'm going to break it down and I'm going to show you how you put it together and it's so nice because I had a camp to fire and when I went to bed all I had to do was take my you know jug and I had to pour it on the uh the logs and it got taken out the the normal camp fires you know it's just a bunch of dirt and and it stays hot it's so hard to douse it out because you've got these super hot coals. What I use, it doesn't stay that way. It just goes out. I was very peaceful last night knowing I could go to bed and not having a freaking flaming, you know, fire pit. So I'm gonna show you what I have. I bought it, you know, like an REI. You might be able to pick it up like an Amazon. I pay 99 bucks for it. Now I'm gonna post a description. Now I want to make a video pretty soon, but I have to get back to my bacon because it's looking damn good. 
just to show you that I'm not bullshitting. Bacon, baby. Bacon. Okay. Mmm. The bomb. Mmm. Very good bacon, man. Mmm. Okay. Now I'm having an awful time. Then we'll shut the video off. And I'm going to start to work on my eggs on the hash browns. Alright. Alright. I'm going to make my hash browns. Yes. Hash browns. Check this out, baby. You know what? I'm going to cook them all. I'm just going to cook them all. What I don't eat and take home. I'm having a feast out here. I bet these bears are like jealous. Like, damn, who was that guy cooking all that good ass? taste. Mmm, not bad. My NW root beer, not bad. Mmm, delicious bacon. show you what I bought at REI. It's a uh, kind of like a fire pit. Fireside outdoor pop it up. Pop up it. So I like this um this uh you know like you know kit because I don't have to use this you know fire pit. So when I make a fire you know, I can kind of set it out very easily. And this part just opens up. Okay. And like this. And I put up the uh, sides right here. Just like so. So that means, man, I can like make a fire. I can go to bed and still feel good knowing my fire and not keep on burning. And like that and it comes with this mesh guard it really dirty and you want to put it in these you know slots okay it takes a little time ah. sometimes it could be a pain Okay, I got that one. You do the other sides. Put it in there. Then you push it down. And that's all it is, you know. It's, it's so much easier just to use this and you could put your, your wood in. It also comes with like metal, well no. You actually have to buy separately the metal the grills. And I might purchase one. But if you use this one, you have to have to take use, use a bunch of wood that is actually kind of small that will fit right here. Because if you use big logs, then you can't put your metal brace on it. That's what sucks about it. You can't even rise it. 
Um, but it's nice because I made a fire and I went to bed and I had no worries about it trying to catch on fire. That's the cool part about this, you know. So this costs 99 bucks and I'm gonna post a post a price. Uh, picking up, you know, like an REI, maybe a Bellas Bass Pro, maybe Amazon, check online. And yeah, I, you know, man, I recommend this more than using this fire pit, you know, over here. So, yeah, I'm about to go. I'm tired. I'm beat us like, you know, like 120. And I gotta wake up like at 3.40 a.m. Sucks. But I get off work like at 12. So I'm gonna go. Um, that's a nice area. I don't have time to um, show you the other parts of the camping site. I might come down here next week and just kind of drive around and you know make a video, but I'm, I'm tired, haven't showered. So look for the video of Terrio Reservoir showing you this area because it's very nice. All right, guys, I had a nice time. I want to thank WOAMeat.com, WOAList.com for their support. Thank you, everybody, for watching this channel. Support me and subscribe. And we're going to Boulder next week. And I will post it on the Facebook page one more time. Bye. One more part of Ontario you got to check out. It's not very big, but it's a nice waterfall. Um, we've got a nice little creek down here. And if you have a draft tube, you can come down here and just sneak it in. Fishing over there. Yeah, guys, it's pretty nice, you know. A nice waterfall. It's a beautiful area man, very peaceful, very at peace here. I had a good time, really had a good time here.